Hello grade school students. Welcome to our math class. Today, we're going to embark on an exciting journey through the world of addition. By the end of this class, you'll know all about the different parts of addition and how to perform addition operations. So let's get started. What is addition? Addition is a mathematical operation that combines two or more numbers to find the total or sum. When we see the plus sign, it tells us that we need to add things together. These are the parts of an addition operation. Let's delve into each one. First, we have the numbers we need to add called as addend. These numbers can represent anything, like apples, toys, or even friends. For example, if we have three apples in one group and two apples in another group, we want to add them together. The plus sign is like a magical bridge that connects the numbers we want to add. It shows us that we are performing addition. It's like telling us, hey, let's put these numbers together and find the total. Next, we have the equal sign. This sign is like a judge that tells us the final answer. It says, this is the sum of the numbers we added. It's important to remember that the equal sign separates the numbers we add from the sum. Lastly, the final result obtained after adding the add-ins is known as the sum. Now that we know the parts of addition, let's learn how to actually perform addition. The simplest way to add is by counting. You can count the objects in each group or use your fingers to keep track. For example, if we have two apples in one group and three apples in another group, we can count all the apples together. One, two, three, four, five. So, the sum of two and three is five. Another method to add is by using a number line. A number line is a tool to help us visualize addition. Let's say we want to add three to the number two. We can start at two on the number line and hop three steps forward. Two, three, four, five. So two plus three equals five. Now it's time to put our knowledge into practice. I'll show you some addition problems and you can solve them on your own. Remember to use the parts of addition we discussed earlier. Three toys plus four toys equal. If you answer seven, you got it right. Great job, grade school learners. Today, we explored the different parts of addition. We learned that addition is about combining numbers and finding the total or sum. You now know how to add using different methods like counting and using a number line. Keep practicing your addition skills and soon you'll become addition experts. With determination and practice, math will become even more fun. Mathematics is all around us, so let's embrace it and enjoy the journey. Keep up the fantastic work, and I'll see you in our next math adventure. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Bye for now.